They are our guardians, our soldiers, our heroes, our best friends. They are family. How did this all begin? Did we choose them or did they choose us? Six million years ago, toward the close of the Miocene era, the Earth's climate gradually cooled. This would lead to the glaciations of the Pliocene and thus the beginning of a new era started, the Ice Age. Only those species or creatures strong enough to adapt to these changes would survive. As the food supply decreased, the hunter-gatherers started hunting for food wherever they could find it. These prehistoric people created large spear points, large blades, in conjunction with a unique tool called the Adel Adel. This tool enabled them to catapult a spear at high velocity and over long distances to bring down other animals, slow-moving mammoths and other megafauna. In a short time, these animals were hunted to extinction. We survived, and along with us, the wolves, the largest predators to have survived the extinction of the Ice Age. Much like us, wolves lived and hunted in social groups and used their social skills to cooperatively take down larger creatures. But for some wolves, those without a pack, that wasn't a choice. They found shelter around human caves. They started feeding on their leftovers for survival. Gradually, some of the tamer wolves would have come closer, and humans, sensing no harm from them, started feeding them willingly. Human skills and savvy, combined with wolves' speed and sense of smell, turned us into complementary partners who tracked, captured, and devoured prey to our mutual benefit. As humans evolved from hunter-gatherers to settlers, their relationship with wolves grew stronger. From hunting companions to guard dogs, the relationship became more symbiotic. Humans offered wolves a reliable food source. Tame wolves provided physical warmth and acted as early warning sentries when strangers or predators approached. The animals that accepted this relationship evolved into more and more obedient companions until many generations later we had domesticated dogs and their feral gray wolf forebears died out. Eventually, they moved from the fringes of our communities into our homes, thus becoming humanity's first domesticated animal. The exact time and place where dogs were first domesticated is unknown. Wolves begin to adapt to human society long before humans settled down and began practicing agriculture. This theory can be correlated to generic research conducted on some of the oldest dog remains. In 1914, in the suburb of Bonn, Germany, the remains of a dog, a man, and a woman were found. They date back to the Paleolithic era around 14,000 years ago. It's the oldest known grave where humans and dogs were buried together and provides some of the earliest evidence of domestication. New analysis shows that this puppy was not only domesticated, but also appears to have been well cared for. It only had a chance of survival in our intensive care. Although theories revolve around our use of dogs as a result of our relationship, hunting, guarding, and herding, the remains of the Bond dog hint at more. The care it received while it was ill and of no use to people appears to have been driven by compassion or empathy, an emotional bond. That this dog was treated with such care tells us more about human behavior than anything else. This dog was special to somebody, and maybe this emotional relationship existed 14,000 years ago. As we evolved, dogs evolved with us. Compared to wolves, dogs now have smaller skulls, smaller brains, their skin is thicker, their paws are smaller, and more importantly, the social evolution part. Dogs have now acquired the ability to understand, to communicate, to feel. More than any species till now, dogs are uniquely attuned to our human behavior. In fewer words, once upon a time, a wolf came searching for food, survival. Instead, he found a lifelong friend, a best friend. As the famous saying goes, dogs are not our whole life but they make our lives whole. Is your dog your best friend? How have they impacted your life? Tell us in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, we've picked two others you might also like. For more animal videos, subscribe to our channel. See you next time.